What is going on guys? This is Ben, you're bringing another Brawl Stars video. Hopefully you are doing well. Today, we are going to get to the bottom of the world's most answered or most asked question. What is the worst brawler in Brawl Stars? Uh, a couple of days ago, I made a straw poll asking you guys to answer and vote as to what your opinions were on what who was the worst brawler currently in the game. Because I, it's different for everyone. It's different for people that are maybe higher up in trophies, lower in trophies. Maybe they just suck with a particular brawler and think it's bad. I don't know. So hopefully we didn't get trolled. Hopefully you guys voted honestly. But I haven't checked the results yet, so I'm a little nervous. But hopefully it's, it's pretty in line with what I think. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Check the results out. All right, so here we have the poll, uh, the worst brawler in Brawl Stars. My vote was Shelly. So I hope she's near the top, but I get like, I don't know, it depends what trophy range a lot of you are watching are at, because I get like up in the high meta, she's really easy to play around because um, people know what to do kind of, but early on, there's just so many of her. And that's like a brawler you see all the time that she does feel a little overwhelming. I get that all the time on my power level one series where it's like, I'm so annoyed at Shelly's by the end of the day. And I don't think she's the worst brawler, but in the above 500, I do think, in the, except for some specific modes, but let's go over the raw results here. I'm gonna try not to look at the top and just scroll right to the bottom right. I did not see it. Okay, so. Spike got 27 votes? Who is- I mean, it's 0% still, but who the heck is voting for Spike on this survey here? Spike is not the worst brawler in Brawl Stars. He's been one of the best brawlers in Brawl Stars for a very long time. And I'm also glad that we have Carl down at the bottom. He's like probably the best brawler right now. He still got 55 votes though. I get his little bit higher skill cap. Um, but no, Carl shouldn't have gotten any Pam was dominant for so long. She's not as good as she once was, but she's still very, very solid. So I'm, I'm okay with the 1%. Rosa, how did Rosa get any votes? She's like the most easy brawler to play and she's super dominant even after so many nerfs. Nerfs, and same with Leon. Oh my goodness. So these are probably troll votes here. We got Jesse. Jesse, I could see the argument because her attack is super slow. Jean, I could see because it's a little bit of the higher skill cap and he reloads really, really slow, but he is still super strong. So Good job so far, guys. We got Colt. I was honestly expecting Colt to get a little more a little more votes here, but at 2%, I mean, I'm okay with that. Same with Barley, super strong. Bull, 2%. So good job so far. Uh, even though I thought Bull would get a little bit more, like, but I guess not because maybe a lot of people think because he does so much damage up close. Brock, I agree with these. Penny, I agree with the 2 percenters here. BB, she's definitely not the worst, but she's definitely not the best. Crow, he used to be one of the worst, but now he's actually very, very solid. Frank, He's, he, I don't know, he can be played around a lot, but he does have a very devastating super. I thought he would have got a little bit more votes. Same with Primo, because Primo gets so outclassed by Rosa right now, um, I think he needs a little bit of love. So I thought Primo was gonna get more votes then. Same with Shelly. Shelly, I thought, I thought for sure would get more than 3% votes here. So that's the one I guess I don't, I don't know. It really depends on, like I said, I asked you guys just to vote honestly for the metas that you were experiencing. And I guess I can understand this because like I just stated, on my power level one when I push up, majority of the brawlers that you see are just Shellys. Like in all the showdown matches, I just see Shelly after Shelly after Shelly. And it, that's why maybe it feels like she's too overwhelming in those and she's actually very good in showdown. So I understand it. Bo, I thought he got a little bit more, but he's definitely solid. Same with Dynamite. I thought he was going to get a little bit more too. So Piper getting up to 5% here. Thought she would have got a little bit more, but it's pretty spread out. So... A lot of two percenters, then we're getting to the five. So I guess like the five is like a little bit of people think she's, they're a little bit bad. Nita, I don't really see it. Nita's like one of the top gem grab brawlers. She's good in siege. She's very solid. Um, I thought she would have been way lower down. Like I would have swapped Shelly with Nita. That, that's my personal opinion. Nita could have been at like 1%. I think she's very balanced and very good. A Rico, I can understand getting 6% of the vote. He got 300, 332 votes. So Rico. I, I get it because he's sometimes it's hard to hit his shot. He's not very strong. And now we're getting to the top here, so I can obviously see it now. But next up, we have Tara at 6%. Wow, she has fallen a lot. She used to be a very solid, good brawler, good choice. But she's just teetering off into almost non-existence because, I don't know, it just takes way too long to get her super, and she's not very good in a lot of modes. But she does, her super is amazing, but she doesn't get it very often. But her base, like, main attack isn't really that great. Uh, Daryl, I understand this one. He used to be one of the best brawlers. Ah, it's just like w when you don't have his star power, he's not as like he's not very good. And I feel like not a lot of people have 
been able to get him to a star power. I feel like that's a very like maybe one percent of all players, and probably less than that. Probably less than all players in Brawl Stars that are. I think of like the entire population play Brawl Stars. Probably less than one percent actually have the Daryl star power. So I can see this as why many people think he's not very good because he, you have to play him as an assassin, uh, even though he is a shotgunner. Like jump on the weaker brothers, but still, if you don't have the star power, he still dies super quick. Oh, we got Mortis! Oh my God, at 999 votes. Oh, is, that, is this the Illuminati up here? Is this good luck or uh, the devil is at what 666? I don't know, but either way, Mortis. I was expecting him to be number one or number two, so to see him at 17%, that's awesome. Now keep in mind. There's only like 6,000 votes here, um, and a lot more of you watch the video. So next time I do this, please vote. We get those more, but it's still w wow. I was not gonna. I was not gonna expect Poco to be the worst brawler in your guys' opinions. But Poco, you are the worst brawler in Brawl Stars. How does it feel coming in with 1,223 votes, Mr. Poco? Oh, okay. Well, I guess, okay. I can understand the Poco argument because he's outclassed by like all the other gem clears at the moment. There's only one specific comp where Poco is like really, really awesome. It's like when you have a lot of tankier brawlers and they're trying to rush up. Um, like let's, let's say for instance, like Poco and Rosa, Rosa are really, really strong. Poco and Primo are really, really strong together because they can just be super aggressive trying to like push the enemy team and then Poco can just heal them up right away and they can continue to be aggressive. So. Poco, I get it. Plus, he he feels like when you're when you're on par with power levels with Poco, he does not feel like he does a lot of damage. He is a short range brawler, even though it has a wide range. But Poco just does not deal a ton. So I definitely get that. I really get Poco and Mortis. So I I guess after talking through here, I get it. So good job, guys. The only one I don't really agree with, but I get where everyone's coming from is Shelly. But that's just from the meta up at the top. But again, I go back to it. I see it at the, she's just over, I guess I think what it is is she's just overplayed and annoying. Um, because she's the first brawler you get, a lot of people maybe just push her up a lot, which you've seen a lot in Shodan. And I guess a lot of you probably watching, I don't I don't want to generalize you, but I feel like a lot of you watching really gravitate and most players I talk to, um, a lot of them just play Showdown. And I feel like Poco was not good in Showdown, so that heavily influences his too, like influences the decisions too. But I get it, and then Mortis obviously sucks in Showdown too, because all he does is run away usually. Uh, and try and team and get to survive. Basically, with Mortis, it's not like usually taking out people. Maybe you maybe you're able to steal a kill if someone's weak or steal some power cubes. But a lot of times, I feel with Mortis, you're just in general just trying to survive until the end. And I feel like unless Rosa gets nerfed or like even Carl, Mortis is going to be kind of falling out of favor here. So Mortis and Poco for you guys, I agree. I'll have to say that. So I'd say good job on the list. Now I haven't pushed up BB just yet uh, to 500. I've been really slacking on that. I've been just focusing on the power level one accounts or uh, power level one account right now. Do you agree with the, the community vote here? Do you agree with Mortis and Poco being one and two and then Daryl being three? I, I, I honestly, I can see it. I definitely can. Uh, like I said, it was only around 6,000 votes. I'll try to get more engagement and everything for my next ones, but still, that says a lot, or maybe people voted and were trolling on some of them too. Keep that in account, but for those of you that voted honestly and truthfully, I appreciate it. I think we did a good job. Match, matchception right there, right? Um, I haven't pushed with BB a whole lot just yet. Um, she's very solid. She's with her star power too with that movement speed is really really good. I just haven't I've been mainly playing like aside from that twitch stream. Oh my gosh, Nita, please don't die Noob noob alert. No, I'm just kidding Um, this guy's walking right to our right to our spot. So hopefully I just evade all my teammates Gotta get this Poco out of here So I'm really really weak, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, BB, I've been playing on my power level one account, trying to push up the power level in Brawlers 500. You guys really seem to like that. And I like pushing like, I think it's like a challenge. It's a, obviously it's a struggle sometimes, but it's really, really awesome. So the next one I'm doing is Colt. I have him around like 300 trophies right now, but I'm trying to push him up. And I really haven't been playing on my main account a whole lot. So I haven't had the time to push BB up. So I just got destroyed two more times in a row. So I can't like explain what I'm trying to explain while playing. I don't know why. But basically what I was just trying to say is like, 
I, I think I already said this. I don't really remember, but basically I just want the meta to always be revolving. The brawlers that are bad become kind of like meta relevant or good. And then it's just always changing because I think like two months of a meta is way too long. Um, it gets kind of stale. And I'm okay, like, if uh, ideally every brawler becomes good. But, like, another thing is, like, what's hard about Brawl Stars balance is, like, star powers. Some brawlers are, like, very, very good early on, but then as you get up higher to trophies, they're maybe not as balanced. And, like, like let's say about above 500 trophies, a lot of people already have star powers and whatnot up there. Uh, and if a brawler is, like, very strong at the top, but very weak at the bottom, like, in the mid to the lower trophy range, why not just, like, make their star power worse or make their star power better if it needs to be up at the top like let's say for shelly she's really strong early on um even if you don't have the star power so why not like keep her base model the same but kind of buff her star power up at higher trophies or whatever so it doesn't kind of mess up the loop this example too like let's say carl is just kind of average um around like lower to mid trophies or whatever he's, he's still good but he's not any is overpowering um up at higher trophies and a lot of people have the star power so let's say up around like 600 700 800 trophies whatever um at the higher tiers when you have the star power he's just too good so why not just nerf his star power a lot so his base kit's the same so it doesn't just make him trash like by changing all his stats so i feel like maybe looking at it that way for balance changes could help but uh we're gonna wrap the video here let me know if you guys think if you agree with the poll list of poco mortis and daryl i think you guys did a really good job thank you to anyone that did vote and did it kind of like truthfully and everything but thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys later.